a Connecticut judge rules that a Connecticut judge rules that AR-15s and a Connecticut judge rules that AR-15s and standard capacity magazines are not in common use or self-defense. Let's go ahead and talk about it. What's up, Wolverines? My name is John Crump, and I'm the host of John Crump News, where we discuss 2A every day. Before we get into the news, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out more than you can ever imagine. I also have many different ways you can support the channel down below, which is Patreon, Locals. I have a join button also that you can give directly through YouTube. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about what is going on in Connecticut. Connecticut, after the the Newtown shooting instituted an assault weapons ban. And the National Association for Gun Rights, NAGR, sued over that assault weapons ban because the Bruin decision said things had to be consistent with the text, tradition, and history of the Second Amendment, and an assault weapons ban definitely is not that. Nagar also claimed that the Law violated the Heller decision as well. In the Heller decision, it said anything in common use cannot be banned. But Janet Atcherton, a judge up there, a federal judge who ruled on the case, has said that she believes Nagger is wrong. She wrote a 70-page decision, which is a bunch of junk, in my opinion. You can go ahead and read it. I'll link it down below. But she stated that AR-15s and high-capacity magazines, which I call standard-capacity magazines, and I'm pretty sure you call standard-capacity magazines too, are not in common use for self-defense. I'm not really sure where she got the self-defense part, but we are seeing this being used in courts around the country. Advocate judges are taking things and adding things in. If you look down in Florida, the 11th Circuit also used a end around to get around a decision they didn't want to make by actually citing the 14th Amendment founding for tradition, text, and history of the Second Amendment, which was done during the period where they were trying to keep blacks from getting firearms. So these liberal judges are adding things and taking things out of context to be able to rule against pro-Second Amendment groups. Now, I'm not a fan of the National Association for Gun Rights, as I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know, but I really wish they would have won this case, and I believe that they should have won this case, and I do believe that this judge was looking for any reason to rule against them. So it is a little setback, but it's not going to be much of a setback because there's other cases around the country that is challenging assault weapons bans, which I think has a better chance of seceding. Out of Illinois, for example, there is a case up there which I think has a great chance chance of seceding. And then you have the case in Oregon, which might go to the Supreme Court, and they might have a chance of seceding there. Any way you look at it, gun control is dead, and assault weapons bans are going to be going the way of the dodo. It's only a matter of time. So trust me, Wolverines, we will win this in the end. All right, guys, I have to go. I'm already late for dinner, so I've got to go do that. If you're going to be at XCAL this weekend, come by and say hi. XCAL is a shooting range in Ashburn, Virginia. There will be a guns out range day there on Saturday. I'll be there all day. So stop by and say hi and talk to the rest of the GOA crew. All right, guys, I am out of here. Stay vigilant, stay free, keeping the fight. Wolverines, motherfucker.